from your experience as being a bus driver previously. A long you know? time ago. Okay, all right. <laughs> he, had the, he had the job, he had the experience, so yeah. you're sharing that with people. I, I'm sharing that. I'm saying, look, pulling in and pulling mm -hmm. out. So You've got to be, caution. yeah. Well, I like what you said about checking the mirror to see if you can see them looking to the left, picking up passengers, yeah. or looking to the right, yeah. to the right mirror to see if there's any yeah. traffic. Your ex-colleagues, Mike, uh, I checked to see any passengers. And take the third exit. And there were some passengers yeah. being picked up there. So I'm used to looking at in his mirror. Ah. <laughs> and I knew he was looking to the left. That means he's still picking up. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going a bit more advanced now. Yeah, yeah. this is advanced stuff. Experienced drivers are scared that they're just going to pull out. You yeah. can get on with it and just yeah. get, carry on. What's going to do now? It's going to stop. Is it? It's, it's not signaling. No signals. Ah, That's what I, there we go. Some of them don't. I'll tell you Classic. why they don't. You ready for this? Yeah. Not many people are going to like this one. Right, go on they, then. After 200 they pull yards, over, they don't signal to keep the traffic holding behind. North. These are tips that yeah. most experienced drivers wouldn't even know. Yeah, real life. We're talking real life here, real not life. text real life. life. Here we are at Southall Test Centre. Myself, Scott, the driving instructor, joined by... Mike. Mike, he's, <laughs> he's not feeling too good today. Have you used <clears throat> Southall before, Mike? Yes, I have, yeah. All right, so we're here at Southall Test Centre. We're going to focus on the most difficult route at Southall. We've got some huge roundabouts here. So we're going to have a good look at those and try to help people out with the roundabouts Absolutely, today. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, big support for the channel, please. We're here to do, like, the most interesting funnest exciting videos that we can get on youtube to help people learn to drive so any support is really appreciated to help grow the channel i That's right, yes. really really appreciate mm -hmm. that thank you so much okay. all right you ready yeah let's okay, go okay so we're going to follow the sat nav mm -hmm. um we're here at southall test center which is this horrible car park here on the right mm. um would you allow your car in there mike uh not really well, why <laughs> Look at the gap. <laughs> Look how tight it is. Yeah. So today it's closed. Mm. I'm actually surprised because mm. the test centre's closed, but there seems to be somebody there working. A bit strange. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, as we move out the car park, what's your recommendations? Be very cautious. Do it really slow. Turn Lean. left. <coughs> Allenby Road. I'd be leaning forward a lot just to see. There's a lot of blind spots there. Park vehicles and stuff. But you can see as you emerged out, very tight. Mm, therefore, very tight. Therefore, you've got to do it as slow as possible. Would you agree? Sorry, my dash cam is doing some funny noises there. Right, yes, definitely agree. Um, mm. So the car park has a gate, which was closed today, mm. and that gate, when it's open, mm. doesn't allow a lot of space for a vehicle Absolutely. to enter into that car park. So when you're going in or out of that car park, like Mike says, make sure you do it at a snail's pace, yeah? Okay, your, your little buddy, the snail. All right, so um, and take care of the poles. They have put a yellow and black sort of, Absolutely. what do you call that, hazard warning uh, sticker on one of the poles. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Might help you yeah. to sort of Just see, see that. the... That's not see really going to help. Mm. I yeah. mean, you gotta be, <laughs> you still gotta be very good at doing that. And the worst is they don't allow you to go in and out. At the end of the road, yeah, you can only go in left, during your test flight, which is madness. Right slip road. Yeah. So you don't even know what to experience. Yeah, so, you know, uh, obviously that car park's not the biggest car park. No. Um, going in and out would be very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it would help you to practice so you wouldn't be as nervous on your driving test. Turn However, left. yes, like Mike said, you're not allowed to go in there to practice because that would inconvenience other people on their tests. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a bit unfortunate. Uh, there aren't any other car parks mm. like that one that I've ever come, come across. across that. Uh, yeah. Right, so we've got a warning chime on the car there. Uh, 20 road, Mike. 20 road it 20 is. 20 road it is. Okay. So we're going to make sure 20 is plenty and we keep to the speed After limit. After 200 yards, go 20 right is plenty. on the roundabout like and take the third exit, Kensington Road. Bus is still signalling left. I'm going to go round the bus by checking my mirrors and checking my mirrors again to move go back right in. right on the roundabout and take the third exit. So I think we've kind of covered this a few times. We're so signalling about what you said, six car lengths on six, the junction. Six to eight car lengths. 
Oh, Looking yeah. to the right, no traffic, nice and open, good visibility. And I'm proceeding to go past the first exit where I'm going to check my interior and exterior mirror. And again at the left, uh, sorry, interior, exterior, left mirror at the yeah. second exit. And avoid the welly on the right there. <laughs> the welly. <laughs> and signal left and exit the roundabout. So this is quite important to mention. Yeah. There's a sign here on the on the Turn right mm -hmm. that's telling me to take this road on the left. Yeah. I'm driving on the left, but the sign's on the right side of the road, so that's not very helpful. However, I do have my sat nav on telling yeah. me to turn left. Now we've got a new speed limit, 30 miles an hour. Oh. Yeah? yeah? Or is it more? I know the road on the right is 40, and there's a sign there on the right that mm -hmm. Is positioned. I think it should be 30 because you're actually merging and then you've got the roundabout coming up. 300 yards. But really, ideally, right you should be. The and there you go. And take the yeah. third exit, A3 right. A3 yeah. 12, Church Road. Right, now this is super important. This junction here, positioning to the right, merging like Mike just mentioned. I'm having a good look over my shoulder. Beautiful. And there's no traffic. I got quite lucky there. I'm going to proceed to take the very right lane to turn right at the roundabout. Yeah. However, if you no know right this on, on your driving test, stay in the left lane, which mm. becomes these two lanes as you approach the roundabout. Yeah. So the left lane divides, it becomes two lanes, yeah. okay? So just to clarify, when you exit, merging on, mm -hmm. there's two lanes yeah. originally. Mm. Use the left lane because it'd be easier for you. Mm -hmm. So now position yourself in the center lane mm -hmm. to turn right, third exit. Mm. Make sure you have the signal applied. What do you reckon, Mike? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah so yeah. applied. Now, what lane do I go into here? The middle lane. The middle lane. If I was in the right lane like I originally used, then I can stay in the right lane. Yeah. But then we have to spiral out the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Now, as I pass the first exit, I would check my interior left mirror, uh, exterior yeah. left mirror. Uh, as I pass the second exit, again, interior, exterior left mirror, and signal left. Yeah. And that's where I start to spiral out, keeping good, good, to the good. left. The pavement is my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll still be watching the right though. Yeah, I'll, just well. yeah, I'll still be watching that right. You got idiots just coming up along the side there. Right, speed limit yeah. here is 20. Nice. It's all been changed. It's all been changed. So I just noticed that was a change there. Yeah, it's 20. 20 is plenty, as you can see, everybody else is doing way above that. So that could be very misleading. So when you're on your driving test and yeah. you have other vehicles around you that are going faster than the speed limit, uh -huh. don't let them fool you into a false sense of security. Yeah. And notice that lorry part there. Yeah. So if I can see that the lorry is parked and that's an obstruction to my lane, what do I need to do? What would you do? So I've got a couple of options. One. I can stop behind the lorry yeah. and wait there until the lorry moves. Yeah. Or, what else could I do, Mike? You tell me. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, fly you, over the lorry. Well, you got to wait, right? Unless wait. there's no traffic, unless there's no cars coming. All right, right. yeah. There we get go. on with it, right? Yeah. So, again, we've got a bus in front here, but let's say the bus was still stopped at the bus stop. Same procedure. Mirrors. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mirrors. I but start looking there. at. I, I, I tell my pupils, you see a bus. What does a bus frequently do? What does it do? Oh. It used to be a bus driver, Mike. <laughs> I was for a What's bit. the bus gonna do now? It's gonna stop. Is it? It's, it's not signalling. No signals. Ah, That's what. There I, we go. Some of them don't. I'll tell you Classic. why they don't. You ready for this? Yeah. Not many people are going to like this one. Right, go they, on then. After 200 they pull yards, over, they don't signal to keep the traffic holding behind. North. That's why a lot of people get annoyed with bus drivers. Sorry to say that, bus drivers. You you know you guys do that. Okay. So we're going to have another stereotype left. now, okay? Yeah. So at the BMW behind us. Now, usually BMW drivers are, are seen to be quite assertive. Yeah. Um, so I, I noticed he was in the left lane. Yeah. And I did signal originally to move back over after the bus. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I cancelled that. Yep. Because I thought that he would be assertive mm -hmm. and undertake me. Yeah. And I was wrong. Yeah, he was wrong. So stereotypes are wrong, Mike. They're wrong. So. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> you know it happens. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So it can be helpful. Look, look, no, it? no, I'm just saying, look, at the end of the day, you've got to see this. This is this is actually the real, real life. How do you know if the bus is parked up? Because you might have to go around the bus. Like okay, so the way I look at it is, if I'm a beginner or an outsider, so I tell my pupils, if he's parked up, he hasn't got no hazard lights on, he's, he's got no, so you look at the bus stop, He's not picked up anyone. That means he's idle. He's sitting there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the bus stop. If he's not picking up, then I get my pupils to look at the his right mirror. Right. Yeah. If he's looking towards the left, that means he's picking up passengers. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I'm going a bit more advanced now. Yeah, this is advanced stuff. This it's is very more advanced good. stuff. So you're trying to see the driver. After 300 yeah. yards. Go left on the roundabout this and is more take the first stuff. exit. But Victoria look, I'm not Road. expecting you guys to pick this up immediately because this boils down to experience. Experience. Yeah. You're only going to learn as you drive. Right, we're coming towards Victoria Road now after a very long stretch of 20 miles an hour and that's talking about moving around parked vehicles like buses and mm -hmm. other stereotypes like the BMW. Yeah. Now I'm going to do something quite Go simple. Go left on the roundabout and, turn and left. take the first yeah. exit. Again, very open junction, very mm -hmm. good early vision, early decision, yep, keep yep. into the left lane and turning left. Nothing too complicated about that, yes. okay? Now the speed is the most important part and it's been quite an important part of this test route so far. Absolutely. So we've yeah. been talking about the 20 roads, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. We have had a speed change just before this Victoria Road roundabout to 30 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of pedestrians here. Yep. The speed limit's gone up. Yep. Agreed. Now that kind of goes against common sense, right? I think we were talking about common sense earlier. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What's the problem with common sense, Mike? <laughs> After 200 yards, cross the roundabout okay. and it's take not the that second exit. Not that <laughs> anymore. <laughs> right now, this roundabout here, a lot of people will fail. Look at the road markings. Can you see the left-only arrow? Cross yeah. the roundabout and take yeah. the second exit. It's a shame because when it's busy, you can't really work it out. So you'll need to do lessons with a instructor that knows, yep. you know, to teach you about these left-only arrows. That's right, yes. You are very hot on your road markings. Remember oh, yeah. from our last video, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, where we did the crossroads yeah. and roundabouts yeah. in Isworth and After meeting situations. After 200 yards, uh -huh. cross the roundabout. Yeah, you've got to just be the reading the road ahead. Look at the signs, road. read. Then Street furniture, right? Read the signs. Now here we don't have any road markings. Cross the roundabout. So I would still one. use the right name. Yes. Exit. Good. Then turn Why? Left. Because you got a left there. You're not. Your positioning may tell the other driver behind you're going left. Am I right? Yes. Oh. We're back into left lane. So what I believe that to mean is that give way lines here. Right, left, right. Uh, is treat each roundabout differently yeah, yeah. okay so that one no road markings now technically highway code tells us to use what lane to go straight ahead which lane to On go the... straight ahead sorry if there's no road markings <laughs> which lane do we use to go straight ahead left lane very good but left in capital letters we're not using the left lane at that roundabout because we're treating it separately because everybody that's in the left lane will go left and into a very well-known supermarket. I've never ever seen, obviously this can be at one point corrected, anybody in that left lane at that well-known supermarket go straight ahead. Yeah. They've all turned left into the supermarket. At the end of the road, yeah. turn left, A4180, uh -huh. West End Road. Following the signs to central London, Waiting until I pass the side road, roughly six car lengths to signal Turn left. left. What do you do before you signal? Check. <laughs> check you out, Mike. Looking good today. Um, Carry on. Check my mirrors. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, go, 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 go. got the green arrow. Filter yeah. light. Let's go. Let's go. So that's Read definitely something worth mentioning as yeah. well. Filter so, traffic light there. Filter traffic light. Mike, would you care to explain exactly what a filter traffic light is, please? Well, when the uh, when you've got the light with the arrow there pointing towards the left, you can go. But you've got to look at the both set of lights there. 
So red was for the guy that was turning right. Or girl. Sorry? Or girl. <laughs> well, guy. After 300 yards. <laughs> yeah. Look at the, the actual light itself. So sometimes A41 you're going to get green, amber, red. You may have a filtered light wall. underneath. And that's for someone that wants to go either direction. It could be just left only. You got to read Cross everything that you come up to. Don't just exit. assume everything's going to be the same. Oh, following the signs to Heathrow, Heathrow. second exit. Listening to the sat nav. That's what actually good stuff. Well corrected done. me from keeping the left Take signal the exit, on. Take exit. A forty one eighty B four fifty five. West End Road. So we don't just need to look at the sat nav, we also can listen to the sat nav. Agreed. Um, now, in my defence, the sat nav is set up for the camera for our viewers so that they can see the route. Mm -hmm. And I really can't see this ca camera, but that could be more helpful yep. so that I keep my eyes on the road. Yep. Have a speed change here to 40 miles an Good hour. Stuff. Well done. <laughs> Uh, the beep noise does beep when we reach the speed limit. So for any beeps earlier, obviously, this is just an indication that we've reached the limit and not to go over. Mike, do you it's ask Scott. me a show me, tell me question on this very long, straight, safe uh, road? When it's safe, Scott, could you just kindly show me that your front demist is working? We can put it on and off if you want. Okay, right. I'm going to wait until I pass the bus, checking my mirrors, not signalling. Do you recommend people signal when they go around buses, parked cars? If it's a congested area, i.e. there's lots of cars, it's quite narrow, mm -hmm. you're impeding onto the other side blatantly, yes, use the signal. It no, would benefit, I'm, wouldn't it? It would benefit. Yeah. It's going to benefit everyone, okay. the bus driver as well. Front demister you asked me please, for, right? Yes, please. Okay, there we go. And then just a quick glance down to switch it back Good. off again. After 300 yards, so you waited, the you see, you waited until it was exit, safe. A312, the parkway. Uh, this is the problem. People just rush into that. They're not thinking about read the road ahead. Is it safe? Back to the huge roundabouts. Mm. I'm taking the third exit. Cross A312 the roundabout and take the third exit. S. Turning right. Mm -hmm. Pop quiz, Mike. Do I need to signal right? I would signal right. Okay. Why? Would it benefit? It would benefit. There we go. It would benefit. Keep it simple, right? Just keep it simple, right? Mm, yeah. Tell people what you do. Now, there's a lane next to me that says A312S. Yep. There's this lane that says A312S. Mm -hmm. That's repeated over there, yep. and I have the white lines, lane markings, guiding me into my lane. Yeah. Do not go over into their lane. Yeah. The signal is very helpful Take the exit. now. Yeah. A to show people I'm going to continue pathway. around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that I've passed the second exit, mm -hmm. mirror, mirror, how are you doing? Signal yeah. left. Good. Well done. Got well done from Mike. <laughs> <laughs> mirror right. checking, mirror checking. That's mirror, the mirror, thing. Mirror, mirror. Watch mirror. the tennis game, yeah? Yeah. Pete Sampras and um, who's another very good tennis player? Tim Edman. Right, okay. Um, we are approaching the willow tree, tree. roundabout. Wow. Now, Big yeah, so this is a big one. You can turn right following the signs to get in. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to be turning yards, left. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Glencoe Road, then sharp left. Okay, so um, Mike's recommended we signal go left around, around six car lengths. And take yep. the first exit, then sharp left. Looking at early vision, early decision. There's a car from my right, so I'm going to come to a nice smooth stop. And now there's a gap, so I'm going to flow into this gap. It's all about timing. Sharp I'll take left. the next left, sharp left, the lady's telling me. Make sure the signal goes back on, because it will cancel after mm -hmm. the roundabout. Absolutely. Nice, good. smooth, slow, steady turn to the left, because it's a sharp left. Making sure I don't pressure this pedestrian, and allowing plenty of space um, for safety reasons, obviously. Mm 
Mm. Okay, now sometimes you're asked to pull up on the left here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're not really going to do any pulling over and stopping on this, this video. It's a bit dangerous, right? Would yes. you pull over someone here? It, what, I, I had to because I was teaching people the, the routes, so yeah. I would get them to pull over where the examiners yeah. ask them to pull over. Sometimes I do question the roads that the examiners ask yeah. the students Madness. to pull over. You wouldn't pull on. over someone around a bend here. Legally, you're allowed to pull over and stop here. You are. Is it safe? I don't think it's safe. In a bend, probably no, not. No way. Is the road wide enough for vehicles to pass? Is the visibility reasonable? No. These are all questions just to ask. If you, you see, don't like, we're coming around a bend now. Go left you wouldn't expect road someone road just parked up on a bend. First exit, Broadmead Road. It's just so dangerous. Someone just parking here where the bollards are. It's so dangerous. Mirror, mirror, yep. signal, roughly six car Go lengths. left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Nice. Again, early vision, early decision. Yeah, good. And it's all about the speed. I'm going to say it again, and I won't stop saying it. The speed is the most important part about junctions, especially roundabouts. So for all you students out there that hate roundabouts, which is quite commonly said, mm -hmm. um, make sure you start to adjust your speed early. Yeah. Like Mike said earlier, look ahead read the road see the street furniture like this speed change coming up here of 20 miles an hour mm, don't Make be sure. just looking at the floor but look way down the road because mm -hmm. that, that's adjusting. what's going to make you a better driver yes that is what i say is the secret to a safe driver yeah, safe driver just looking ahead look way down early. the road look way down that road see where the changes are look for street furniture I always keep on saying it wrong. So uh, you don't need to know the road. At the end of the road, Look, I don't need. Right, I, need I don't need to know the road, but I know there's a bus stop right there. I know road. we're coming up to a junction. I can see two lanes on the approach. You have got to do this commentary talk within yourself. What lane do I use to turn right? There's two. The left lane, please. Hmm. Why not the right lane? It's the overtaking lane. Ah, ah. thank you. <laughs> These are just questions that are quite commonly asked, yeah, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. So just to try and help anybody yeah, that might have absolutely. that question in the back absolutely. of the head. So if I'm overtaking, use the right lane. Right. Maybe. But if you're in that right lane, yeah. it's not going to fail you as long as you're being observant and people are not trying to overtake you. Very and even if they are, uh -huh. you're going to merge anyway further as you go into the road. Yeah, because so, you know the road. Yeah, I know yeah. the road. But the thing is, you've got to. So I always say, look, if you've got a car right next to you, keep an eye on that vehicle. At the end of the road, you turn need to right, keep an eye on cycles and motorbikes on either side. But look at your right mirror because that's where the danger is more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you've got a car on your right. He may swing over to the left as he turns. We don't know. And so it's very important that you are being considerate to other road users as well. Turn right. Merging traffic. So, yeah. like Mike just mentioned, so after we've turned right here, be considerate of other traffic. You might have a car on your right that's trying to swing in. Look at this guy here. Look. Perfect point right there. there. Okay. There I put the signal on. Mm. I'm looking at the mirror and talking to the mirror like yeah. it's a camera. Yeah. I put the signal on to kind of, mm. you know, show that I was going to be merging. Yeah. And obviously, the driver of the vehicle. Uh, maybe didn't see the signal, nope. should we say? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Mm -hmm. So what do we do then? We allow that vehicle to pass safely and we'd be the more responsible, defensive driver on the That's road. Right, yes. Okay, yeah. to avoid any um, accidents. Yeah? Good. Well done. So merging traffic again, checking it again for anybody. After this 200 time. yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Lady Margaret Road. This time I didn't signal because it was of no benefit and the other vehicle that was on the right held back. Yeah. There's your favourite uh, vehicle here, one of your, your ex-colleagues, Mike. Uh, I checked to Go see right any passengers. The and take the third exit. And there were some passengers yeah. being picked up there. <laughs> so I'm used to looking at it in his mirror. Ah. <laughs> and I knew he was looking to the left. That means he's still picking up. Right. There you go. See, yeah. I didn't look at that. Because a lot yeah. of drivers pull away without even signalling as well. Left only lane here yeah. for the roundabout. Yeah. And I am turning right. Sorry, I didn't listen to that because I was too busy watching the bus driver. Okay. Did you hear but what I, I said? 
<laughs> Did you hear I said? No, I didn't. Sorry. I said the that. bus drivers pull off yeah. without signalling sometimes. Yes. Not all bus drivers. Remember yes. that. Yes. But you've got to remember what I've just told you. Yes. These are things that you will experience. I'm not going to lie to you. No. It does happen. Yeah. This is real life. This is yeah. real life. Pe bus drivers, not against, I'm not against them at all. But this is what they do. Just like the Uber drivers. They pull in without a signal. They pull out without a signal. And people are having the right go at them. It's life. We've got to deal with it. Right? But you have just After got to read the road ahead and see what's happening to avoid road. anything. Then yeah. There'll point. be a lot of drivers out there doing the wrong thing. But you've got to be the safe and the correct driver. Yeah. Taking the next road on the left. Turn left, then yep. turn right. Now this roads here do at a very slow speed almost walking speed mm -hmm. if you're in a manual car mike is the manual instructor yeah um very experienced i mean you know this area quite well as well uh take a low gear would you suggest oh you know, absolutely you're, yeah, you're yeah doing yeah, a yeah. turn do so turn. um is there any specific sort of advice you'd give about turning in a manual car gears what yeah gears yeah slow use? down come into the appropriate yards. gear Bring your speed down first, West obviously. Don't just change the gear. All right. Bring that so, speed down, yeah. lower gear. Mm -hmm. Look at the road as you turn in. Are turn there right. lots of parked vehicles as you go in? It's just like you're turning here. Park vehicles on both sides, assess the road, and then you go in very smoothly. Make sure I don't turn yeah. too early and into any potential yeah, yeah, traffic. Because yeah. on these residential roads, like the previous left turn and this right turn, yeah. we can't see. Mm. Residential, yeah. lots of parked vehicles, it's, obstructions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like if you were bombing it down, mm -hmm. it'll be your fault. But yeah. if you're going very cautious and you're defensive and that like that truck was just coming towards us, mm -hmm. then he'd be in the wrong for putting his foot down. Plus it's a 20 zone as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if someone is coming, there's nice enough space, just pull in. Allow that vehicle to come in, filter through. Oh, you asked me to pull in? All right then, I'll pull in. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't giving you any instructions. Okay, all right, all right. so um, obviously just being a bit silly there, but mm. what I'd like to do is a reverse park exercise. Okay, yeah. with the car in front? Uh, yeah, we can try the car in front. Yeah. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my preparation. So we talk about the manual car, you get yourself into gear, find your biting point, yep. make sure you do your observations now. Yep. Do I do a six point check? Uh, yeah. I'll tell you why. He's on camera now. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, when you're moving away, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. But here, you need to really be observant. Uh huh. Yeah. Because you're really looking out for the cyclist there. You can see the the uh, the kid or whoever right on the bike there. She's going up and down. So you really got to pay attention. This is another thing I say to my pupils: is open the window. Sometimes you can't hear them, but you can. So, sorry, sometimes you can't see them, but you can hear them coming. Yeah. Would you agree on that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Very, very helpful. Yeah. And that's not, I don't know, that's not even in the highway code book. Right? Is this in the highway code book? What is? Six that. point check. The six point check? No. What, what you're doing it. now? Yeah. I would never teach my pupils to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so when they buy their own car, Scott, have they got the same facilities as your car? Uh, yeah, quite a few of my students actually are buying okay. this car and getting these facilities. Bespoke, bespoke pupils, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. High end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So your point was? My point is, uh, <laughs> my point is, <laughs> Scott gets all the high end clients, yeah, with the Lambos and uh, the Ferraris. No, I'm He's got to teach those kids, right? Seriously though, there are quite a few of my students that do drive this vehicle and love it. Oh, and okay. Go and buy it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, mirror, mirror, signal right at the uh, end or yeah. near the end of the test. Uh -huh. oh, I'm just going to relax now. I don't need to do my mirror checks anymore. I don't need to do my signals or anything like that. Yeah. Well, I'm done, aren't I? What do you reckon? What would you advise your students to uh, to do at this time where they know that they're almost back and finished their test centre? Don't lose your call. Don't. You're still being After tested. Yeah. You could fail Have right at the last moment. Yes. Remember, you're going to go back into that car park. Yeah, absolutely. Well, sometimes I think they pull you over here. On the left. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. If the car park asked, is full yeah. or blocked. So I'm going to pull over and stop next to the raised curb here, just behind the red car now. 
on your exam, the examiner might say, don't worry about the driveways. So on that occasion, obviously don't worry about the driveways, but preferably stop next to a raised curb. Yeah. Okay. Listen to what the examiner says. Uh, all right. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. If you like the video, please put a thumbs up. Please support the channel. If you want to see more from myself and Mike, please just make comments down below. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks Good. for watching. Nice one, guys. Peace. Take it easy. Bye.